was the bag. All I wanted was a 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 bag. Put the top on the floor and then make all these niggas mad. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's what that's what it is. You feel like you gotta knock somebody else down to climb to the top. That's probably why they're even for the dumbest question you asked all day with the dumbass rumor asking <laughs> to did we sign people so we can come like that's what you going you pushing somebody down don't actually get you up bro flat the fuck out you know what i'm saying and any beef or anything we had with people man it was all defense you know what i'm saying we never play offense on anything we don't wake up like man i don't like that just don't like that nigga you know what I'm saying? It was always something that we had to defend ourselves. Like, what the fuck? It's because of assumptions, dog. When you don't know something, you assume humans. You know what I'm saying? But then when the, the TV shit come into play, man, where everybody just all these fucking assumptions and shit, that shit play a play a big role on the mental. Okay, and so don't nobody really want to answer or fuck with niggas like that when you when that's all people thinking. And it's really just artists. It's not our fans. Or artists that ain't was bought my our next fucking question. record. That's what I was my next question. These artists don't even buy records. So really, um, you say all the hate that y'all got was more from artists and not like regular people. Yeah, it was always from artists. It was strictly from artists because we was in a big ass position to where people felt like we could have did a certain thing. But there's only one Master P, my brother. There's only one Diddy. Only one. I can name five execs right fucking now. You don't. I can name three or only three artists that signed somebody before. You know what I'm saying? That's out relevant. This shit is hard as fuck to be a CEO, bro. Or everybody would be doing it. You, th you think people don't want that bread? They want that bread. You can't. It ain't no easy ass job, bro. Think about you as an artist. You know what I'm saying? How what the shit your wants and needs and how you want it and the timing that you want it in. Nigga, it's hard to control an artist. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to put out an artist, especially when you're an artist. And you're not a, you wasn't an artist. It ain't like we was artists that was like chilling. Nigga, we was so active. Active. And we don't have people around us. We had to do shit ourselves a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? You got a manager role, man. That's it. I didn't have a big ass street team or a big ass clique where I come in the club 50 deep where niggas could be doing other shit. No. We working like a motherfucker. I, nigga, I do the shit ourselves. We do a lot of shit ourselves. So that's the, that's the whole thing. But I understand it, though. That's one thing about I want people to understand that, too. That I understand why you would think that or why you, you know what I'm saying? Especially if no one explain how hard it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, we all we do is talk about how hard it is to be an artist. And that feel like motherfuckers, you intimidating them not to be an artist. You know what I'm saying? But we never talk about how hard it is to run a label. Like, and being an artist at the same time. You know what I'm saying? That's probably a Rick Ross interview you need to do. But just know Rick Ross signed people that... Already popping, they got their own establishment, their own management, their own life going on. They ain't, he ain't got to do nothing but sit back and sign a check. And that's right. dope. And that's, I wish we could have did that. Wasn't nothing to stop. We'd have had to work every artist. You know what I'm saying? That shit hard as fuck. I wish I had the time to do it. That shit would have been dope. But I don't. But now I'm getting into that mode because I'm older. Now I know I can try to be a CEO. I was a kid then. Fuck you want to be signed to it. We need to stop trying to be signed to rappers too. Let me say that. Stop that. Let me let me say that. You know that what's crazy? Right you said that. Let me say that. I right just there. did an interview with Spliff Star, and he talked about that with him and Busta Rhymes. Good. So that's we're trying uh, to sign to rappers. Like go to a label. Go to a real CEO motherfucker. I don't give a fuck if it's independent or major. Go to them. Don't be trying to sign to these rappers, man. These rappers got their own minds and their own thing. And they kinda want your shit like theirs and shit like So let me let me lead you into this next question. Murphy Lee went platinum, right? I ain't gonna I, I see how hype you get off the rumor, so at first I'm gonna ask you the question till I hear then I hit you with the room. So why did Murphy Lee get a second out? Label ain't shit. Everybody be screaming they want to get signed and get a deal, get a deal, but then you can end up in the sauce like I was in. That shit wasn't right. You know what I'm saying? The label broke into three different labels, Def Jam, Interscope, Motown, all of it. Universal just broke up. New, new president, new everything. So all our shit got lost in the sauce. Like our projects and shit, starting with Kenfolk, um, Nelly, that album that he was finna drop right then and there, I think it was like right after Sweat and Suit. Like shit just got lost in the sauce. Like you gotta have a motherfucker in, we stay in St. Louis. You gotta have a motherfucker in New York working your record. 
working your project through all the departments. You need a motherfucker right there. You don't need nobody that can call, got a call. Because if you call, they can just be like, yeah, yeah, we're getting it done. You know what I'm saying? You need a motherfucker in the office with a desk doing the shit. Your project specifically, and we ain't had it. You know what I'm saying? So my shit got lost in the sauce. And I was fighting to get off the label because they wasn't putting me out so much that it ended up being, it took down there, for what, five years to get me off that motherfucker? Oh. And, that, and you know what the five years in the music business is. That shit ain't no joke. That shit was a total setback. And I'm pissed. I should have sued that. <laughs> so you know, okay. So I'm not going to get amped again. Because you go to this stupid oh, with... Even as a dumbass. You know? <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> so, so it's not true. I don't even want to ask you that. Because you, you got me all fucked up. If you say anything come... about Nelly, homie, man, you got to be <laughs> fucking kidding me. He don't. I wasn't. I'm not signed to Nelly. Right. Like know that. That's let me, that, that can that can just help all that. I'm okay. not signed to Nelly. I was signed to Universal Records. You feel what I'm saying? So that person has my contract. That person controls my project. Nelly was fighting for his own project at the same time. Like nobody was getting done right up there. It was all fucked up. So first thing, how many groups did it, the Lunatic slash Nelly sign after y'all? Because the rumor is y'all signed everybody at the crib that was making some noise, <laughs> but didn't put everybody, didn't put nobody out because y'all ain't want nobody to blow. Let's How just, true is that? Let's just, let's say, first of all, I, well, I wish we could have signed everybody who was popping. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'd have had Chingy, Jaquans, and, and the Jibs, and everybody who had a hot something that came out, but we'd have been, we'd be on a whole nother level right now. You know what I'm saying? But we was artists, so we don't know the real meaning of CEOs and running a label. You know what I'm saying? We st And as you trying to be an artist, too, at the same time, it's kind of hard to jump in that lane. So we never really got a chance to. But our family, we tried to put our family on, like, people that was already with us. You know what I'm saying? And I can put them against anybody in the world. So us putting somebody on, but let's best believe it's going to be them first. You know what I'm saying? But we never signed none of them. We never put them under paperwork. So if any point in time people can leave, if they wanted to leave, they can go do what they need to do if they need to do it. It was never no holdback. It was just only helping. Like we we helped anybody, everybody who we called Dirty NT, who was under under the label, or you see me, we was doing stuff to help. We never put any paperwork on nobody or nothing like that. Anybody could have left at any time. You know what I'm saying? So, but we just tried, man. It, it, it take we, one thing about it. We know that. Even when, as the ticks, it take more than just, it wasn't the managers or it wasn't uh, Kuda or what's called. It took us to hustle that shit. You feel what I'm saying? It take the actual artist. So, so a lot of stuff, a lot of times when you don't see an artist come out, it, it most of the time it be the artist. It don't really be a label holding them back. It be, it be the artist got to catch that fire. And it, it's, it's some self work that you got to put in to catch that fire. That's all that shit is. But it's understandable when you're the biggest shit ever out of St. Louis. Like, shit, everybody gonna expect you to do something. But just know that any motherfucking DJ from out of town, any label from out of town ever said, yo, you ever heard of such and such? Thinking about signing them or such and such. We always bigged it up. Yo, yeah, yeah, they tight. We don't even be knowing niggas. I don't know niggas first name, last name, mama name, nothing. And still be like, yeah, that shit tight. Or when a song come on out of town, we can have beef with the nigga. Song come on out of town, we and that motherfucker from St. Louis, we dancing like we ain't never like losing our mind when we out of town and shit like that. So we always repped and we always kept it so St. Louis. It's just the fact that a lot of people expect it a certain way and and they didn't. You got to understand the game. You know what I'm saying? You got to understand the real picture of the music business, not just my cousin tight. He can do it. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, my uncle tight. So for the record. It was never no conspiracy <laughs> to hold sign fifty artists That's the dumb, and never that let them out. Stupid as fuck, man. Now let me ask you this. Let's go you, deeper. Then let's go deeper. Check this out. Dog. Let me answer that real quick, though, because when you put people up under you, just know that you gotta feed people. You gotta do all type of shit. So no, nobody really want that burden like that. In a, and in another way. Motherfuckers want you to eat. I don't want you eating off me. I want you to eat off your money. Why would I ever stop you from making some money? That's the dumbest shit. It don't make me or sh make me shit or none of that shit. What you eat don't make me shit. Right. So like, ain't no motherfucking way I'm finna stop you from making your money 
because of me what I'm what I'm gonna do with it after you make your money then what or after you don't make money then what that's more chances of you and your or your family coming to ask me for something so I'd be damned if I didn't man we didn't want to be the ones that you the go-to guys Shit, All right, we, so we just we just wanted to work. Let's we just it. like every other artist. We just want to work. Period. So let's get deeper into it, cause people ain't gonna forgive me if I don't give you a deep question. So let me ask you this: What if do you think there possibly could have been a deeper conspiracy that you didn't know about? Because it's think no about hold on hold on though. It, you sound about, stupid. I, no, let, yeah. I'm asking you. I ain't question. thinking about shit. No, wait, I'm gonna think about. I'm it. Sound dumb, dumb as fuck. Is it First possible? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Fight for our own wait, fucking. Wait, I got wait. the argument. I gotta wait. have to get my album out with a label. <laughs> well, I look like even talking about somebody else's shit. No way. You're and you're if it's not in a good question. way, it's you're not the question. You start your question off wrong. That sounds stupid now. Cause spirit, we don't know about. What the fuck? Look though, is it possible? It's possible could, that it could have been that, that, that motherfucker don't like somebody before they even start asking these dumbass questions. I agree. Yeah. I agree. But let me ask you this: because this it would have been a great business move to consolidate money and power. So listen. So well, listen. Why you don't do it? Then let me fit. Why would we do it? If let we could have did that, why wouldn't we do it? Me, that's why I'm gonna ask you the question. So is it possible that Mo could have been in a room with some executives? And you didn't no. know about a secret like Illuminati meeting. Man, you sound I'm fucking stupid. Question. I would throw you out this car I'm and then the call question. your brother and say, "Man, I left him on 20. That's not a question. That's <laughs> some dumb ass shit. But that's the not thing any black man is in Illuminati is the dumbest shit on no, earth. No, 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 he ain't in Illuminati. No, on earth. You just said sitting at the table with Illuminati. Now you saying no? No, no, no. You gotta ask the question correctly. Bro. Okay, so the question is, I'm the god. I like. I take it as as. Word, okay. word. So the question is: Is it possible no. that one of the executives, no, and Nelly could have had a meeting? Who get? Who what executive? Now what? Say executive. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm person. just saying. I want to know the ending of this result. Let's say. Let's say he sat in a circle and said, "What now?" That's why I want to okay. know. I want to know how it could come out. And said, "Okay, what you should do uh -huh. is sign everybody in the loop. Sign everybody in the loop. Come All on. All right, and don't let them out, so you could be the only one popping." Why would now, you I'm not ask you this question? You, it I'm sounds not, stupid. I want you to answer it. I'm not. I want you to answer it. 